What's up, y'all? Hey, man, it's been a minute. I miss y'all. I miss y'all. Hey, man, so it's uh, so it's been a lot of stuff going on with Nikkei lately. Um, as y'all may know, we got the update. Uh, what was it yesterday, on the second? And it's uh brought some things, uh, some good changes. I'm not gonna lie. So we can go ahead and get right into it. So let's go ahead and check the the notes real quick. So first and foremost, as we all know, everybody's mainly here for the the Makima coatless skin. You know, they actually listen to us. So for those who don't know, um, you can get the Makima coatless skin from um, from literally just going into the um, the Chainsaw Man event. I already had claimed it, but I can go ahead and show y'all right now. You don't actually have to do anything. You just got to go to it. But yeah, how, how y'all doing? Y'all doing good out there? I'm oh, my bad. I forgot to greet y'all. I hope y'all doing good out there and everything like that. Uh, so basically, all you got to do is actually, I think it's like go to the mission. And it should be somewhere in here, if I'm not mistaken. It should be like somewhere in here, daily or a challenge. You'll basically see something that says it'll have like Makima's coatless skin. You just literally claim it. You don't actually have to do anything. I already claimed it, so you're not going to see it. But yeah, you just go in here, go to the mission mission uh, tab, and then you should go ahead. You'll see where you can claim Makima. As long as you already have her, you can get her. So I wasn't originally going to get her, but when they was like, oh, you're going to go ahead and they're going to give us the coatless version. I was like, all right, you know, I, I can work with y'all now. Like I was just going to get power because, you know, power is best girl. But, you know, I ended up getting both power. I was going to get power regardless because, in my opinion, she's the best girl. But since they said they was going to do a coatless mocking, I was like, hey, shit, I'm all here for some cheeks. Shoot, that's why we play the game, right? For those who be saying this, let me, let me just touch on one thing. All those people who be like, oh, uh, that's not why you play Nikkei or you don't play the game for the assets. Man, bullshit. Stop the cap. Shut up. Like... Play the game how you want to play it, but let's not let's not cap though. Like we we know exactly why you play this, why most people play this game. We know why why this game is po as popular as it is in the first place. Like let's stop the bullshit. People be like, oh, we don't play the game for that, or oh, it's rated teen. Oh, you guys are perverts and stuff like that, bro. Look at volume, bro. Hold on. You can't tell me. You can't tell me you look at volume and be like, oh, this game is rated T for teen or, oh, we don't play the game for X, Y, and Z reason. Bullshit. Shut up. Stop the cap. Like, we know exactly why people play Nikkei. We know exactly why this game is popular. Tell all those people, all those people who be saying that bullshit, shut up. Just shut up. Bro. Stop, like, stop the cap. Anyway, I'm sorry. I just had to get that out of my way. This shit is annoying. When people be like, oh, that's not why you play the game. Then you playing the game for the wrong reasons, bro. I ain't trying to say, like, I ain't trying to tell people how to play the game, but come on. We know what it is, bro. Anyway, let's get back to Makima. So I wasn't originally going to get her. I was just going to get power. Um, but, hey, they said, oh, we're going to do, do the coatless uh, version? Say less. So we have to go ahead and get that coatless version. You know, she looks all right right from the front, but this is what we all came for, right? This right here. All right, now, my honest opinion about how Makima looks, I think, personally, I think she looks way better without the coat because, I mean, I play the game for all its purposes and intentions. It's literally to play the game for the assets and shit. Like, how do you not like this? Like, again, people have their own preferences. You can like the coat. You cannot like the coat. I'm not trying to tell people how to play the game, but in my personal opinion, I play Nikkei for a reason. I'm always going to vouch for the culture, uh, for the people of culture. I'm always going to vouch for you. I'm always on that side. So, of course, I'm going to go with the coatless version. I think it looks way better. Like, it's not even no competition. Me, personally, the coat looked fucking dumb as hell, personally. I'm just going to be honest. Like, we go back to it. I know some people are like, oh, uh... Hold on, equip that shit real quick. 
Some people are like, oh, she looks uh, she looks badass with it. I mean, I guess, but at the same time, she looked dumb as hell. Like, you ain't even wearing the damn coat right. Like, what the hell are you talking about? Like, just a damn blanket or something? Like, what is this? My, like, it looks dumb as hell. This is the Matrix or something? It looks fucking stupid. I mean, it looks cool, but it doesn't match. Like, it defeats the purpose of the game. We know why people play Nikkei. It kind of defeats the purpose if you're wearing some big ass matrix coat, you know what I'm saying? It doesn't make sense. You ain't even wearing the damn coat properly. So I don't know. To each their own. Again, I ain't saying like, I, I ain't trying to tell people how to play it. I'm saying, on my opinion, I personally think the coat looks dumb as hell. Especially right here, that looks fucking terrible. Like, this literally defeats the purpose of why we've even playing DK in the first place. Like, Maybe you didn't get the memo, but like, yeah, Nikkei isn't as Nikkei isn't as popular as it is because of triple A game mechanics and story. And it's, it's it's really popular and as successful as it is because of the assets. Like everybody knows this. Like if you try to deny that, like that's just like I, I don't know. That's just delusion. You must be blind or something. I don't know. But I want to be on that soapbox long. I think to make both sides happy, I'm glad that they made it so you can choose one or the other. Like, I'm glad there's a, um, how do I go back? What the hell? Hold on. Am I, am I tripping? There we go. I'm glad there's a, a version of both. Like you have a coat version, a version with the coat and a version without it. I think that's a good thing. That way, both sides, it's a win-win for both sides. Um, I think that's how it should be moving forward. There should be like some toggleable, like a toggle for the coats on, for people who like the coats on, and for the people who like coats off. But I think there should be an option because if not, it kind of creates that divide where the community is kind of going against each other and being like, oh, this version's better or that version's better. Everybody plays the game how they want. I'm always going to vouch. I'm going to just be honest so everybody knows like what they're getting into when it comes to my channel and stuff like this and our, my community. I'm always going to vouch for the people of culture. We're always going to be on some, you know what I'm saying, some, some not safe work type stuff. Like We're always going to vouch for that, for assets, cake, and all that stuff. So if you want like the Super Weenie Hut Jr.'s version or the censored version and stuff like that, the family friendly shit, you're not going to find that here. I'm going to be honest. Like, I'm not going to tell people how to play the game, but or, you know, enjoy what they enjoy. But if you're coming here and you're kind of wondering, wondering where I stand, I'm always going to stand more biased towards the more cultured side of things. So I'm always going to go for assets over some big ass code. So. Just to let y'all know, I know opinions ain't really popular on the internet, but I'm going to give my opinion. I'm always going to be on the culture side. Free the cake. In my personal opinion, this looks way better than that dumbass coat. I mean, you could feel some type of way about it. I ain't saying that you bad, like you're wrong or anything like that. I'm saying for me personally, I don't fuck with that big ass coat. And there's a lot of other people with coats who need to uh, get they, their coats removed too. Um... But that's kind of a lot about Makima. We've been talking about Makima a lot. Like Makima, she looks way better. I'm gonna be honest. I ain't even think she. I ain't even think she had cake like that. To be honest, like I don't know if this is as accurate to the anime. I did watch it, but I don't remember seeing her having a bunch of cake even in the anime personally. So I was surprised she even had this right here. So that's a win in my book. So I appreciate you know shift up and in for listening to the feedback and whatnot. I think this is a step in the right direction. I think that y'all should add a toggle. That way both sides can be happy. Um, shit, or give us a tap tap version for us of the culture who want to see, you know, the whole assets. Give us a tap tap version, you know? Shoot, that way we can be happy. And the white knights, you know, the, the family friendly side, they can do their thing over there while we enjoy, you know, the cake, you know? So uh, that is Makima. Whether you should roll on her or not, that's up to you. I'm not going to say what you should and shouldn't do. Again, I wasn't going to roll on her, but y'all said y'all was going to, you know, let her show her cake off a little bit. Hey, I had to get her. So, and I'm thinking the same thing about, um, about power. So, 
If you don't know, I made a little post. Let me see if I can go to it real quick. I made a post on Twitter in response to this. Yeah. So I made a little Twitter response to this, you know, them removing the coat, basically saying, this is me. I'm basically saying, hey, thank you for listening uh, to our feedback. Any chance we can get the this uh, this one next? They saying, yeah. So they did good with the Makima skin. And I'm like, hey, shoot, maybe they can do the same thing with the, with the power skin. That would be nice, right? Y'all remember this scene? Shoot, if they can do that, if they can add a costume for Makima, how she was in the anime, I don't see why she couldn't get, we couldn't get a, a skin for power as well. That would be nice, right? Y'all like this skin, right? Don't y'all, y'all, hey, if y'all have culture, y'all know this scene. This is a glorious scene. And her outfit is way better. She got the short shorts and everything. It goes perfect with the whole intent behind Nikkei in the first place. So, hey, go ahead and go to this, uh, go to this Twitter post. Find my name. Go ahead and run them likes up. Let them know that, hey, show some support to this idea. If they see it getting a bunch of likes and get some traction, maybe they might be like, hmm, hey, maybe we should add this. I don't even care if y'all, like, however y'all want to do it, but this costume, I believe, should be in the game as well. You already got Maki without the coat. Why not add powers in there, too? This looks amazing to me personally. So, yeah, go ahead and go to the Twitter page. Go ahead and like my little comment. Uh... And hopefully the devs see it and they can implement it. Obviously, they listen to our feedback here. So what's the what's the what what can go wrong for asking for another skin, you know? So yeah, if you want to see that skin, go ahead and run them likes up for that post. But yeah, we're gonna go back to the video. Uh what else we gonna touch on? So we went over Makima and everything like that. That's cool. But what we really need to touch on is our girl here. Hold on, where's she at? We're gonna just go right to it. I know y'all see soda in the background. That, that shit is glorious. Look, I had to. Day one. All right. This is what we talking about right here. Like, Maki was, Maki was cool and all. You know what I'm saying? She got a little, you know, she got a little, little, little something back there. But it ain't, it ain't on this level. This is, honestly, this is one of the easiest mission pass, passes y'all could sell, like, ever. Like, this is a must buy, in my personal opinion. Look, I don't even have dollar. I don't even have dollar, but I'm about to have this skin. That's for sure. I, I showed this video. I showed dollar on my uh, one of my previous videos I did a few days ago. But bro, look at this. Look, look at this. Hold on. Let me get the view all right. Um, front view. You know what I'm saying? Looking real glorious. Dollar out here. You know. A little bit more revealing and she got class still she's like classy and revealing at the same time that's the best of both worlds you know what i'm saying looking real good got the physics on deck yeah look at that look at that even this view is nice even this view is nice bro dollar looking real nice but this is what we all came for bruh Jesus Christ. They said, they said, oh, it's Dollar's birthday. She bringing all the cake, bruh. She bringing all the cake. Like, Makima was cool, but it wasn't on no Dollar's level. That shit is crazy, bro. Look at that. Oh, yeah, that was, this is an easy mission pass. I had to buy this mission pass day one. Again, I ain't telling you how to spend your money, but for me, this skin is a must-have. I, I, I'm getting this skin regardless. I like I said, I don't even got dollar, but when I do, I'm I'm gonna be wearing this skin. Trust and believe that. Ain't no way I was. There was no way I was not gonna get this. All this cake. You think I wasn't gonna get this? Now I do think they should lower the prices for the mission pass. That's for damn sure. Them things are expensive. Especially well, the mission pass is still pretty high, but the skins in them by themselves, like in the little shop. Oh, no, them things is way too expensive. Y'all definitely need to lower the price of them. Them shits is ridiculous. That shit is like the same. That shit is over the price of a, a DLC or something, like, for a skin. And the only one that's really good like that is, like, the uh, the Maiden skin, right? Yeah, y'all need to lower those uh, cash shop skins uh, to, like, $15 or $10 or something like that. $20 is, is pretty fucking ridiculous, in my opinion. But yeah, look at Dollar. Dollar's looking glorious. Hey, I know there's about to be a bunch of Dollar mains out there. I'm about to be a Dollar main after all this. I heard she was, like, good as is, but then y'all went and added her a skin as well? That's like, I ain't even know Dollar had it like that. I'm gonna be honest. Did y'all know that she, Dollar had it like this? That is ridiculous. 
Somebody said that she ain't got no, you know what I'm saying, up under. She, They say she ain't got nothing up under there. Is that true? I don't, I don't know. But she looks fucking glorious. Like, Makima's cool and everything like that, but that's something light. That's something way light compared to this. This is the step in the right direction. So, if you're like me and you're a man of culture, man or woman of culture, this this mission pass is a must-have. You got a dollar? This is a must-have skin, in my opinion. But yeah, um, that is Dala. What else do I want to cover? Do I want to cover anything else in, in this video? I don't want this to be super duper long, but I wanted to catch up with you all. If you haven't got the PC client, I highly suggest getting the PC client. This shit runs like butter. I ain't going to lie. It's a big difference. Runs a lot smoother. Uh, has like better aim when you're aiming at your targets, all that. Like it's just the PC client is so much better than the... Um, LD player and blue stacks and emulators and stuff like that in my, in my experience. Um, I guess we can go to the shop real quick. Take a look at the shop, right? Because they added some packs in here. They added the uh, SSR selector. Let's see. Let's see. Where is that shit at? Is this it? So they got like this SSR selector in here. Now, again... This is going to be dependent on what type of player you are, you know, whether you're beginner, mid, end game or whatever like that. Depends on where you are. But basically, there's a pack in here that's like $15. I don't really know how to feel about that. I personally, being a cheapskate, I think that's pretty high. But, you know, hey, do your thing. But I think this is it, right? That's just not ain't it, my bad. This right here. So basically for $15, you can choose one of these four right here. Now, who do I recommend this for? I mean, I recommend it to anybody who is maybe they're struggling to get past that 160 wall and you just need that one more SSR, then A, do your thing so you can cross that 160 wall. Or if you just happen to be somebody who, you know, is like us, waifu over meta, and you just like, damn, I need that volume. I need them assets. Them cheeks is crazy. Then... A, get you a volume. I know some people like Uni. Look, A, the devs made her. The, de the devs made her the way she is. Y'all know what I'm talking about. I ain't got to speak more into it. You know exactly what I'm talking about. So this is for the people who are needing to get past the 160 wall and those who just, you know what I'm saying, they're here for the bakery. You know what I'm saying? Bread is pretty nice too. I, as far as like, you know, aesthetics, like looks and everything like that. You know, she got the booba on deck uh add me i heard that she's a good character to like use just as far as gameplay i'm not sure i don't really use her personally but maybe i should but yeah if i would recommend this if you need to get past the 160 wall or if you just like hey i gotta add volume i gotta add uni i gotta add bread to my collection my harem and stuff like that you know but yeah um yeah 15 i don't know if yeah. like i said i i could personally use them be cheaper but it is what it is. But if you are, again, if you're in that boat, you just want one of those characters or you need to cross the 160 wall, then hey, do your thing. But yeah, I think that about covers it, man. I just wanted to make another video to kind of catch y'all up. It's been a while. Um, it's been a while since I made a video. It's been a few days, you know. I appreciate all the support and everything for the channel. Uh, I love seeing the comments, the positive comments and everything to the channel. Uh, I like having people who are like-minded individuals, you know, people of culture who like things like, you know, so depressing, you know, the things up against the, the mirror and everything like that. I appreciate y'all. Y'all understand where I'm coming from, you know. Um, so thanks for the support. It looks like we're about to hit 500 subscribers. I'm going to let y'all know right off the bat, we ain't even getting started yet. Like, we haven't even got started yet. This, is, this isn't even a warm-up. This is... I got so many things that I want to do on this channel and bring to you guys. Uh things of culture look i'm i'm here to please when i be hitting up the uh, community posts that's uh pay attention to the community posts if you subscribe and everything go hit up the community tab and chat it up let us know how you feel give me some feedback i'll ask a lot of questions in the community tab to kind of get a feel for what the community likes what they want to see and everything like that that kind of helps me gauge okay this is the type of content i should make that's the type of content i should make but yeah, I just wanted to say I appreciate y'all for the support so far. I love the positive comments. I love, you know, 
I, I love that we have something to relate to. Like, I love that there's a place for us people of culture to go and like, you know, have something in common and common interests and everything like that. But I got a lot more. It's not just going to be, it's not just going to be Nikkei. There's other things of culture I would like to bring to the channel. So this is just the beginning. Um, I'm going to try to keep on bringing y'all more and more content stuff for y'all to enjoy. Um, but I want to make this video too long. I don't know if I missed anything. I probably did, but I just like to come off the top of my head and speak from the heart. Um, if you like this video, if you enjoyed it, let me know by hitting the like button. Go ahead and comment how you feel. Do you think Makima's skin is worth it now? Do you think that, you know, her cheeks are worth her getting, you know? How do you feel about the dollar skin? You know, I personally, again, hold on, let me, I got I to gotta check it. We got to look at it one more time. I'm sorry. Like, we, we can't end it. We, we should just leave it. We should end the video with uh, dollar's cheeks on the screen. You know what I'm saying? Those, I don't know, them things are just too glorious not to be on the screen, bro. Y'all did a good job. And if y'all seen the video that I posted a few days ago, you know they still head in the right direction. So I'm glad that they didn't forget why people enjoy this game in the first place. You know, they still remember like, okay, this is why people play the game. They play it for the jizzle, jiggle physics, the cake and all that stuff. But yeah, what y'all think about Makima? What y'all think about Dala? What do you think about the SSR selector? Like, who are you going to get and everything? Let me know how y'all feeling about these updates. You liking the PC client? Let me know how y'all feel. Any any thoughts or concerns, feedback, advice? Hey, let us know. Again, thank you for all the support. I appreciate y'all. And I'm going to see y'all in the next video. Peace.